Well, the Kenton football team is back in the postseason for the 11th time in program history. In his first year as head coach, Brent Fackler led the Wildcats to an 8-2 record, which earned them the fourth seed and a home game against Port Clinton in Week 11. Kenton has had high intensity practices this week, and Coach Fackler likes the way his team is preparing for Friday's playoff contest. Practice has been good this week. The guys love the playoffs and uh, you know love getting to compete when all the rest of the guys are you know, uh, done playing. I mean, there's so many teams, 32 teams in our, re our division, and uh, the guys are just happy to be one of those 32 teams. It's been real good. The guys are real intense, just looking forward to the playoffs. I don't think you can think of it as a different uh, atmosphere, difference, and your attitude, you just got to take it like another game. Playing week to week has helped Kenton overcome some challenges. They started the season 0-2, but then the Wildcats refocused and rattled off eight straight wins. After our second loss, uh, Coach Fackler, he had uh, some words to say to us and encourage us to start synchronizing with each other, make everything a little bit better, and just start really cracking down during practice. Well, we've had eight straight wins, but, you know, there was a, we've left a lot of points offensively on the field, and we feel that we can definitely do better than what we have been playing. Uh, we feel that uh, we have to improve this week in order to beat a very tough Port Clinton team. Port Clinton finished its season with a 7-3 and three record, and the Redskins have some offensive playmakers that Kenton has to keep in check. They've got a quarterback that's very athletic. Uh, he's a run and pass type guy. Uh, they've got a receiver that's a, you know, very, very quick, good hands, big play threat. One of the things we got to do is make sure we limit uh, their um, big play uh, explosiveness. They got some talented weapons on offense. They're a great team. They were coming off of a losing season last year, but this, this is a great year for them and they made the playoffs. The Wildcat defense has been stingy all year, allowing just 11.2 points per game. And Kenton knows that it will need to play a complete game on both sides of the ball in order to advance on. I think we got to be physical. Uh, the physical team always wins, and we just got to try and come out and uh, establish physicality. We definitely got to be physical with them and stand our ground. We can't let them score on us. Uh, offensively, we need to finish. We've got to finish our drives. Uh, we can't leave any points out on the uh, field this week. In Kenton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.